get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start mr chairman sir i am grateful to the honorable members of this house for giving unanimous support to this bill at the outset i would like to say that this bill has been brought in as a result of the persistent demand from the members of both houses i am not saying this for the first time as a matter of fact when this proposal came up for consideration before me some time back i noted that it might be quickly done as there was a demand from both the houses in this regard with regard to the various provisions in the bill an honorable member wanted a distinction to be made between those who were running this game and those who were participating in it i may assure him that we have made a distinction if the honorable member goes through the provisions of the bill he will find that as far as persons who are running this business are concerned we have provided for a maximum punishment and also a minimum punishment so we have provided a minimum punishment for those who run these betting activities on the other hand we have provided for a lighter punishment for those who participate in them in this connection i would like to point out that participating in betting activities is also an offense like the running of a betting house but at the same time i do realize that the other thing is more serious because he exploits the gambling instinct of the people that is why we have provided also for a minimum punishment in their case i do agree that not only in respect of this law but in respect of every law that we pass for the purpose of regulating the conduct of the public it is necessary that the police should take an impartial attitude in the matter and should be strict in enforcing the law if that is not done all this may become an instrument of oppression so far as this point is concerned we may be happy that our police officers are after all our brethren they will bear in mind what we are saying here and what is happening outside in society also i have no doubt in my mind that they will enforce this legislation to the best advantage of society but if there is misuse of this law as any other law for personal gains then it is the duty of everybody to bring it to the notice of the government i may assure the house that if any such inning is brought to the notice of the government in respect of police officials we shall take very strict action reference was also made to the publications in the press from time to time i am aware of this but i do not know how we can control them as we know they are a privileged class i am sure the honorable members will agree with me that any restriction on the publication of news will be regarded as curtailment of the freedom of the press in view of this it will not be right on the part of anybody to suggest that we should control the press in any way i think we have to give them absolute freedom let us hope that with the passage of this bill it will be possible to put down this evil with a strong hand let us hope that when we discuss the next budget 
we will be able to say that we have put down this evil to a great extent. Letter from the New India Cotton Mills Limited, Calcutta to Messrs. Ganesh and Company, Mumbai. Dear Sirs, we draw your kind attention to your order for supply of some goods. With reference to your order, we are very sorry that we have to ask for extension of time in its execution. As you may know, recently there was a strike of the cotton cooperatives. It affected our business for some time. But we think that you know that we have resumed work and we are making all efforts to fulfill our contracts. But at the same time, we are afraid that in spite of our best efforts, it will not be possible to effect delivery on 1st July as agreed to. But we would like to assure you that we are confident that we will be able to effect delivery of your goods on 1st August. We hope and trust that this course will meet with your approval. In this connection, we assure you that all orders will be handled in strict rotation and we shall do our best to expedite delivery in the light of what we have stated. We hope you will realize that this delay is due to circumstances beyond our control and we shall very much appreciate if you allow this additional time. We are sure there will be no need to ask for a further extension. We tender our apologies for the delay. Yours faithfully.